Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in today's feature, we're going to talk a little bit about the feedback entity. So the feedback entity was introduced with Spring Update for 2016 for both online and on-premise instances. And really, if you think about it, it's just a way for people to provide feedback about something that might be happening inside your system. Now, more commonly where you see this automatically enabled and kind of utilized from an application standpoint is the feedback entity on knowledge base articles. So somebody could go in and they could provide, you know, kind of an overall comment or thought about what's happening with that knowledge article, they could propose that as as a internal feedback solution that could now be acknowledged and looked at and maybe you know brought into what you're doing from a feedback perspective inside that knowledge base article. So now maybe you rewrite the knowledge article based upon those situations. The nice thing about it is enabling this feedback for other entities inside the application gives you that same type of you know feel and functionality. Maybe you have a situation where you're you're capturing some specific information on the case entity and now you realize you know just through working with the application that, you know, that, that maybe we want to give people the ability to make suggestions around types of fields that we should be added. Maybe it needs to be laid out differently. Maybe it needs to be designed differently just to make it flow better for our agents. So giving them the capabilities to provide feedback about what they might want to do in those situations works exponentially better than, you know, having them send an email or even maybe add a note or something like that, because now you can actually interact with that feedback. The other thing that's nice is once you start taking some of these items and start pushing them out to external resources, maybe through some of the portal capabilities that are available with CRM or something like that, you now have the ability to be able to capture feedback from external people as well, and now implement that external feedback into whatever it is that you're trying to do. So in the grand scheme of things, it, it's really not all that different than if you were going to, you know, expose any other entity on, on a on one entity that you wanted to work with. Maybe you want to expose related opportunities, related cases, you know, any of those situations. In essence, bottom line here is the feedback entity is an entity. You do have to make sure that you enable that entity or the feedback entity for the item that you want to work with. And so that's just a, a system customization. So if I were to go into settings, and go into customizations and I could go into, you know, create a new solution or I could just directly go into customize the system, which for, for time purposes today, that's what we'll do in this situation. So I'm going to go ahead and customize the system. You'll expand the entity that you want to enable feedback for. So in this case, um, I'll just do it to the case entity just for time purposes and simplistic purposes. So I'm going to select the case entity and have that load in my customizations for, for the ent entity. Under the communication and collaboration, there's now a feedback option. Now, this is just like any other, you know, of your notes, activities, connections, those types of situations where all you're going to do is you're going to enable it. Once it's enabled, it can't be disabled. Now, again, just like anything, you don't necessarily have to use it, but at least now you have it enabled. So you're going to save your customizations on that entity, and then you're going to publish your customizations for that entity as well. And once you do that, then I can go and, and, and in essence, add this information to the form to have that information on the form itself. So once once I've gone in and I've saved the information, then I can go ahead and publish it. And then after the publish, uh, publishing process, I can go ahead and work with the information on the form. So now I'll expand the case entity and I'll go to forms. Now, when you go into these forms, remember what is the, the type of deployment situation that you're working with? Are you using an on-prem or you know an on-prem deployment? Basically, are you using Interactive Service Hub or are you using the web client? If you're using both, then just like any other customization that you're working with, you have to make sure that you customize both forms. You customize the main form for the item as well as customizing the interactive experience form. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the case entity form. And it really, it's, it's just adding a subgrid to that form that is tied to the feedback entity once that's been enabled. So now I could come into, you know, my section here. I'll come in directly under here. I'm going to add a subgrid. I'm going to associate this subgrid with the feedback entity. So I'll find feedback. I'll determine if I want to use related end records or if I want to use all records, depending upon how closely type coupled you want to place that information. I'm going to just go ahead and call this feedback. And then I'll go ahead and set it. 
Now, the other thing that you might want to look at is as you start collecting feedback for these individual entities, this is also a really good opportunity to, you know, use a, a subsequent field like a roll up field or, or something like that to be able to go in and roll up how many feedbacks you've actually captured. So I could, if I wanted to even come in here, create a new field, I'll go ahead and just kind of create a total feedback field that'll roll up information from the entity. So I'll go ahead and click on my new field. Then I'll just call this total feedback. I'm going to make this a whole number field, make it a roll up field, go ahead and edit it. Then I'm going to build my argument for what this looks like. Now, again, depending upon what the situation is, I could go ahead and you know do a sum of, of maybe the different ratings that have been captured based upon these feedbacks. I could just go ahead and do a standardized count of how many total feedbacks I've captured that are active or closed based upon those items. So I'm building this just like I would build any other normal roll-up field inside the application. So I've gone into here. I've let the roll-up, uh, let the, the form load in. It'll then open up my editor so I can go ahead and edit my information. I've determined that I'm not going to use case hierarchy, which I could if I wanted to, if I was using, you know, case hierarchy within that situation, I could pull that information in and make sure that the information was coming from subsequent uh, cases that were uh, child cases of this item. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the feedback entity. Then I'm going to go ahead and add any additional filters. I only want to do open feedback. So I'll just go down to my status, set that my status equals open. And then I'll do the aggregation that I want to work with, which in this case is just going to be a count of the total feedback options. So in here, I'll go ahead and count my feedback and then click on OK and save and close. Now I could just go ahead, add this to the form, publish this on the form. And then once this is published, now I'm ready to consume it inside the application. So now I'll go to service and I'll go to cases. Let it open up just, uh, you know, my list of cases and then I'll just open up an existing case. Or I can actually just create a new case here quick. So here's my feedback option and here's my total feedback. Now I could come in here to submit feedback. I'm gonna go ahead and add a feedback record. Gonna give me a lookup window. I will see additional feedbacks that have already been submitted, but I could create a new feedback record from here. It'll ask me what do I wanna call this. Maybe I've got um, Now it might more in essence be maybe just a comment based upon the item, but in this case, we'll just say suggestions for form design. I can define whether or not this is coming from the portal or whether this is an internal item. What is my specific comment that I might wanna do? I'm gonna say um, change section order. I could give this a rating. So if I was really looking truly for feedback in regards to how relevant this might be or item that I wanted to work with, I could go ahead and give this a rating. In this case, maybe I'll just give this a rating of 15 just to illustrate that concept. I'll go ahead and hit save and close. And now that feedback has been associated with this. So now once this feedback is there, since this is in essence just a roll-up field, I could manually calculate the item in my roll-up field, and then this would actually go in and show me how many feedbacks have been submitted for this individual item for that option as I'm going through. So this now gives me the capabilities to, to start capturing this. Now again, this is really probably more relevant and, and prevalent you'll, you'll see from a knowledge article standpoint, but that doesn't <clears throat> it all mean that you wouldn't necessarily transform it over into other entities. And it's a very simplistic way that you can now get some specific interaction from, you know, internal and external people about these different items that you have in CRM. So that's going to do it for today's tip. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I said, feedback's just a great way that you can go in and 
solicit responses and ideas and thoughts from other people. And it's very easy, as you can see, to set up and configure. It's just a matter of determining what specific entity you want to work with and then add in the appropriate subgrid. And then from there, once you start exposing stuff on portals, you would be able to work with stuff very easy. So again, for all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, this has been Derek saying thanks again for watching, everybody. Take care and have a good one.